Interesting reel, the one on vibrational frequencies. Well, thank you. Are you ready for the questions? Only if you're ready to receive the answers. <laughs> Isn't it hard to maintain a high vibe throughout the day? Can you give us a way to make it easier maybe? I can give you more than one way to make it easier. When your vibes are low, or if you feel like your vibes are going low, right? You can do simple stuff. Some of it is silly, some of it is amazing. For example, um, rub your hands together. As you move your hands away, there would be a certain amount of energy. So keep them about six inches apart, right? If you feel that there's, there's not much energy, or it's taking a long time for them to connect, clap, clap about 10 times, right? And like that, so make sure all the parts of one palm are touching another. That's a way. Now it's a it's a crazy one that you know you just you can't just random go somewhere and just start <laughs> clapping. But if you're alone at home or say in a quiet place, a, you know, a place where you can do this, you can go ahead and do it. Another way to increase your vibes is by breathing and be conscious of the breathing and a deep breath in. And remember the inhale should always be shorter and the exhale should always be longer. Another way to increase your vibes is by changing your pers perspective about something. For example, why is that person carrying a better bag than mine? Why is that person getting a better um, you know, deal in life than, than I am? Instead of that, say, I'm sure they worked hard enough for that. I have gotten, what I've gotten so far is what I have thought into reality. I'm going to create a reality for myself so that you know my life gets better and the way that I want it. So it all starts from, originates from what you think, right? Because your thoughts become things. What you think, you become. Another way and an easy way to uh, increase your vibe during the day is uh, have warm water with honey. If you feel that you need an extra dose, put a dash of lemon, a little bit of lemon uh, juice in it and sip it. If you do something in a rush, you get a high, like a sugar rush, and then you get a low. So balance is very important. These are just some simple ways to increase your vibes. You mentioned 62 to 70 megahertz as a healthy vibe level for a human. Mm -hmm. What's a healthy vibe? A healthy vibe is a frequency, a vibration that you should have so that you can attract all the things that you want in your life, not all the things you don't want in your life. If it fluctuates, if it goes below it, you will automatically attract all the things that you don't want in your wildest dreams to attract. And that's because of the mirror principle. Do you know what's the mirror principle? The mirror principle is that the whole universe mirrors you. If you look into a mirror, what you are is what you get. And that's exactly what happens in the universe. What you are is what you get. If you have a wallet that can have that can keep 10 currency notes, that's what you will get. If you have a wallet that can keep 100 currency notes, that's what you'll get, providing you work for it. Can you connect how feelings can affect vibes? Of course, how you feel has uh, to do with emotions. Emotions has to do with your heart chakra, your heart. If you're feeling low because of, some, of something that you saw, somebody said something to you, or just your general well-being, your general health, the vibe will be low. In fact, when we spell cast, and if the spell caster is not feeling 100%, they should never cast a spell because the energy level will not be up to the vibrational frequency required for the success of the spell. What about listening to something? Well, if you listen to, have you noticed uh, when you are in a romantic mood, you listen to romantic songs. When you're sad, you listen to songs of heartbreak. When you're in a uh, workout mood you listen to uh, songs that have to do with working out mm -hmm. and the gym uh, when you are sleepy you listen to or when you're working when you're in the creative zone you work with uh, music which has to do with uh, which is just audio just uh, you know without any any songs any any words um, or just tunes right so your mood will also depend on the kind of uh, music that you're listening to, the kind of uh, white noise, like they say, background noise, that is going to come into your 
aural sphere. So what you're listening to also matters when it comes to your vibes. So if you want your vibes to be high, I'm not saying listen to a very happy, happy song all the time. But what I am saying here is be, be mindful that when your vibe is low, you will be listening to songs and tunes which are low. You will, listen, you will, you will give more importance to gossip. You will give more importance to people who are judgmental about you. If your vibes are high, you're just going to say, you know what, I don't care. Not my circus, not my monkeys. And how about speaking? Very important. If you use cuss words and abusive language, trust me, your vibes are low. <laughs> right? So in my family, uh, occasionally there are times when, you know, if you're playing Uno and if somebody uh, makes a mistake or if somebody gets into trouble uh, and there's a cuss word, I've taught them to bite the tip of their tongue. In, in Hindu, uh, in the Hindu culture, it is believed that the goddess Lakshmi, uh, um, the goddess Saraswati, I'm sorry, sits in your tongue once in a day and you, you're not told when that happens. So if you use a language or a word which is not suitable, which you can't say out loud, or if you say it, then you should regret. You should gently bite your tongue with your teeth as a, uh, as a, as a repent, as something that you're regretting, right? Um, how you speak, if you speak in a loud voice, in an aggressive tone, even the person in front will feel threatened, right? That's why God gave us two ears and one mouth. So we listen more and talk less. So when you speak, always speak with the intention of not reacting. Always speak when you have something nice to say. If you don't, then don't speak at all. And when you are speaking to yourself, make sure that it is only things and words which will, I'm blessed, I'm lucky, I'm so grateful, I'm thankful. I'm humbled, I'm glad, I'm happy, I'm rich. Anything with I am would stick. So make sure it's the stuff that you want to stick. Can thinking about someone or something affect your vibes? Absolutely. If you're thinking about someone, and this I have said to so many people, I'll give you an example to make this easy, okay? You don't, there is nobody who gets along with everyone. You will always have a bone to pick with somebody. Whether you know that person personally or not, directly or indirectly, grudges are something which are dime a dozen now. So you have a grudge against someone, you don't like someone. Why are you giving that person space in your mind? Because if you give them space in your mind and you're talking about them, they not only have space in your mind, they also have space in your life, in your thoughts and your inner circle. They've already penetrated and infiltrated into the circle. So if you watch your thoughts then you'll be a little more careful about not inviting uh, the kind of people that you want to invite or the kind of thoughts because let me tell you jealousy anger uh, feeling of resentment uh, feeling that somebody has it better than you um, unforgiving these are all the lowest plane of vibes and that is not somewhere you want to be because when you are throwing out those kind of vibes you will get more reasons to be in that situation. What about energy focus? Energy focus is very important uh, when it comes to vibes because vibrations require a certain focus of energy. Concentration is very important. It can be very tiring, let me tell you, if you want to create a high vibe and then maintain it. Coming to a high vibe, it's like uh, doing something, right? When, you're, when you begin to write, as a spell caster, I'm giving you my example. When I start casting a spell, writing the spell is not as important as bringing it, you know, scooping it from that piece of paper and transferring it into reality. It's tough as nails, let me tell you. It's not everyone's cup of tea and it takes a whole lot of energy out of you. That focus is important. That eye on the ball is important and that's why energy focus is extremely crucial when it comes to vibes, when it comes to spell casting. And the last question is, mm -hmm. does the zigzag pattern of our vibrational frequency throughout the day affect us? Of course it does. Uh, think of it like uh, when two people go to a common place and uh, they eat a particular food item, one person falls sick and the other person doesn't. Why? Because at that point of time, the immunity was low. 
if two people expose themselves to an environment of say a lot of heat or a lot of cold right and in those conditions one person is okay the other person gets a heat stroke or the other person catches a cold why is that because at that point of time the immunity was low similarly when there's a zigzag vibrational frequency you have a high vibe and then something happens the boss called and said that your work wasn't good enough the vibe goes low and then you have your favorite meal your vibe goes high and then you realize that oh my god my bank account uh, just got some stuff removed you know because i didn't pay this bill on time it goes low and then it's time to pack up and go back home and it's high and uh, then when you reach home you realize that you have to go to the grocery and buy vegetables and again it goes low so the zigzag frequency does affect but it's not something that cannot be avoided at any cost remember it's difficult but it's not impossible there are simple ways that you can do when you feel that you're going on a low vibe i've already told you what you can do see if you can these are all things that you need to practice yourself we have vibe switches we have spells we can help you with that but try and see if you can help yourself first even god helps those who help themselves all right so these are the five questions uh, for uh, the re titled vibrational frequency if you have any questions do not hesitate to leave them in the comment section below thank you and see you at rakaina Thank you.